Osprey, it hasn't been the easiest. It definitely hasn't been the most relaxing. But good things come to those who try, persevere, and learn through mistakes. Osprey has provided us with some of the best diving, and we've had it all to ourselves. Today we dive for the last time here and celebrate our last night on one of the most difficult anchorages Sylphie has experienced. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylphia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface and see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. It's four o'clock in the morning and it's been a pretty rough night on Sylphia. We are, as you know, on a super, super sketchy mooring right next to a really, really shallow reef, reef sticking up out of the water. And all night it's just been like huge squalls up to like 40 knots of wind. And the squalls were unsettling, but in the worst case, if we did break the mooring, we would just drift back into the open ocean. But the one thing that happened that we thought couldn't happen, and we had swung around and we were in five meters of water. Um, and if we would have kept swinging a little bit more, then Sylvia would just be literally just smashed onto the reef. And it's just fine, it's starting to catch up to me, just every night feeling like we have these huge emergencies and I don't know, I just feel really, really just over it right now, honestly. I just want things to be easy for like one day, you know? But I think tomorrow will be a new day and everything is always a little bit less scary in the light of day, so I'm ready to reap the rewards of all of our sketchy anchorages and experience um, some of the best diving in all of Australia. So anyways, those are my, my deep thoughts of the night. <laughs> How did you guys go in the, the conditions for your yoga? Uh, it's pretty intense because sometimes you never know when you're gonna fall and I fall like, I don't know, like maybe 20, 20 times so I couldn't keep up with the rhythm of uh, our teacher. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny because you think of yoga as this like really like peaceful meditative thing and I came out and everyone's like hair is like blowing in the wind and people are falling over because the boat's rocking and yeah. it was pretty funny to watch. It was uh, quite an entertainment yeah. for but you. But you feel good, you feel stretched and limber. Yeah. yeah, actually it's really good because we've been we have been doing, doing exercise actually lately and like I feel like pain in all my joints because we are like, I feel like yeah. It's yeah. been so windy and nasty out that it's not really appetizing to go no, work out on the deck. Couldn't. Yeah. I feel so loose and open. Your yoga? Mm hmm. I'm gonna have the best spin kicks today. I'm gonna go so fast. This is my healing crystal. Um, little Amy gave it to me to keep me safe. Yay! It's my safety crystal. It keeps me safe. Yeah. Yeah. She gave it to me right before I went in to uh, pull the line buttons. off the prop and it seemed to work. So Working keep it with, keep it with me. Um, we are about to jump on a wall. And for a long time, like the goal is to park the boat where you can jump off the back and see mantas and hammerheads, right? Like this is the best of the best, and we found that spot. So we're gonna camp here and 
see what Neptune provides for us, see what he <laughs> gives us <laughs> presents. How's your, how's your directions going? It's good, it's good. So it's like, uh, can you steer please? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then so, so yeah, it's around that mark. I get to that mark. Oh no, that's not the mark. Um, it's like, yeah, it's somewhere around here. Somewhere in the ocean. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere. So we're looking for the morning now. Yeah, we're looking for the morning now. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like right in front of this giant reef, and we're going like four knots directly towards this reef. Um, you know, casual. Just casually. Tuesday, casual Tuesday stuff. Just, what we do so yeah four knots right to the reef looking for a mooring that may or may not exist only in the minds of some people this is the first time that we've like willingly come off the mooring in a while yeah i know this is weird like no one's panicking <laughs> no one's screaming i don't hear the anchor alarm <laughs> good morning team Escuba. what are we doing today we're gonna go dive around the bend and look for some hammerheads and there's also a manta cleaning station so hopefully we see some beauties out there we're gonna drift dive. So we're going to that corner of the reef, and uh, probably we are gonna have a strong current, and we're gonna drift all the way down to the boat. Let's see if we can see some hammerheads. I've never seen a leopard shark, so that's cool. Hammy and Ollie's first. Well, second. Hammerhead. Second. second. <laughs> In the same Woo! dive. So, sweet, man. So, we're at the dream spot. I, um, 
<laughs> I guess I've been like hoping for some time that we would find a spot that I could just jump off the back of the boat and not just see cool stuff, but just see incredible stuff. Stupendous stuff. Yeah, that's what I've been hoping for. And um, we found it. So we're at this this um, wall. Um, there's, there was a manta ray like right under the mooring line. And hammerheads and my first leopard shark I've never seen and the coral is soft coral it's just massive like literally like branches like the size of my arm like I've never seen anything like it um clown triggerfish just really really cool dive right here I just I'm pretty stoked on it we just I feel like the whole place to ourselves the whole reef to ourselves and um yeah, it's just amazing diving. And I'm really enjoying seeing um, the new crew really just fall in and I can see the, their love for, for diving and the underwater world growing day by day as well. think about uh, Osprey, it's our last night out on the reef. How, what are your thoughts and feelings? I think Osprey has given us like ups and downs. It was like a scary night with like 25 knots, 30, 36, how much was the 38 knots of wind, like mooring balls broken, like our propeller got caught in a line. But at the same time, it gave us like hammerheads, manta rays, like lots of sharks, like little nice creature on the reef, like the power of fish, bunkheads, so I think it was pretty even with the good and bad things about Osprey. So I'm sad to leave because I would like to explore more. And for me, being able to see some of the hammerheads that I didn't get to see, that it's always the same. You remember in Fiji, I didn't get to see the hammerheads either. Oh yeah. My but favorite I, I moment of Fiji uh, was when I saw the hammerheads. No, no, I didn't see the hammerheads. <laughs> So no, I'm, but I'm happy to keep on moving and to see more stuff. We are going to another reef, we will dive more there. And then we will make our way to Thursday Island and to see another place, another culture, more people. And let's see, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy. I'm ready to live. Did you bring your What's up? Uh, so we, we just set a record uh, on Sofia today. Um, so me and Hammy played between us. How many games did we play between us? Six? Like six. Six games of Catan. There was a couple of games uh, that were played when we went for dives. So I think the record of eight games of Catan was played on Sofia today. Which is the record. Dun, dun, dun. So um, a yeah, proud moment for both of us. Just want to thank uh, little baby Jesus for giving us strength to uh, get through that last <laughs> game. Could have done it with our parents as well. Is there a good involved? Yeah. Have we ever actually said on camera what goon is? What is goon, I told uh, I, I learned what's goon here in this boat. Uh, it's just, it's the, just the, the wine that we use in the Basque Country to do calimocho. Calimocho is uh, wine and cork. And we use this type of wine. It's like uh, wine in the box. 
Yes. I think it's that, no? <laughs> you said it's just that, but it's really so much more than that. It's so much you more than that. You said it's just wine in a box. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, but, no, yeah, yeah. Here it's like a, special. has been like a very special and it's like a ritual. Have you, how do you find uh, cooking for 12 people? Yeah, it's something I've never done before, but uh, I think after the third attempt we've got it down. The portion sizes. Yeah, the portion sizes. Oh, Six that. cups of rice and a full pot of something else, and you're about set. Good to go. <laughs> There's time to get going. Just take it slower. All else will work out fine. Change is coming. Birds are humming. Life's running right. Life's running right on time. Next time on Expedition Drench, we set sail and arrive to the Greater Detached Reef at sunset. It's the second most inflamed moon I've seen today. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Got that was it. a good one. Got it. Oh man. <laughs> don't worry, I won't put anything in the video. Yeah, don't put I won't put anything in the video about your asshole. That one's for you and me. I miss my dive dinghy! Ah!